Hello everyone, this is Prerna. Welcome back to my channel Knowledge of Maths. As you all know, we are studying CBSC Board and CRT Mathematics of Grade 6. In today's video, we are going to solve exercise 1.2, the remaining part. Uh, starting 6 questions I have solved in the previous video. If you want to watch, those, watch that video, you can go through the link provided in the description. Okay, so let's start from the 7th question. Here this is the 7th question from the exercise 1.2 which is there on page number 17. Uh, the question is, <clears throat> a merchant had rupees 78,592 with her. She placed an order for purchasing 40 radio sets at rupees 1200 each. How much money will remain with her after the purchase? Okay, so first uh, we will take the information from the question. The, the information provided by the question is a merchant had rupees 78,592 and she placed an order for purchasing 40 radio sets and each radio set is for rupees 1200. Okay, and they have told us to find out the money will remain, how much money will remain with her after the purchase. So, first we will find out how much money she spent to uh, purchasing um, 40 radio sets okay for that we have to multiply this 1200 with 40 which gives us the answer as 60,000 means she spent rupees 60,000 for purchasing 40 radio sets okay now what we have to do we have to subtract this 60,000 from the 78,592 which she had before purchasing it okay so, uh, a merchant had rupees uh, 78,592 and she spent for purchasing 40 radio sets is 60,000. So, let's subtract. Uh, then, the remaining money is rupees 18,592. Okay. So, the final answer for this question is rupees 18,592 will remain with her after the purchasing of 40 radio sets. Okay, now let's go to the next question. Here this is the 8th question. A student multiplied 7236 by 65 instead of multiplying by 56. Okay, uh, by how much was his answer greater than the correct answer? Means uh, that student first uh, multiplied the 7236 by 65 instead of multiplying 56 so what we will do we will uh, do the both multiplications okay so first we will do student multiplication that is 7236 multiplied by 65 will give the answer as 4,70,314 now let's do the actual multiplication which is 7236 multiplied by 56 which gives the answer as 4,5216. Now they are asking us uh, how much was his answer greater than the correct answer. Okay. So for that we have to do subtraction. So let's take answer of student multiplication is 4,70314. And then uh, answer of actual multiplication is 4,5216. So let's do subtraction which gives the difference as 65,124. So the final answer for this question is his answer is greater by 65,124 than correct answer. Okay. Now let's move to the next question. Here this is the next question. Ninth question it is. To stitch a shirt, 2 meter 15 centimeter cloth is needed. Out of 40 meter cloth, how many shirts can be stitched and how much cloth will remain? And they have told us to convert data in centimeter. Okay. Means to, uh, let's write the information which, got, which we got from the question is, to stitch one shirt, we need 2 meter 15 centimeter cloth. Okay, first we will convert this into centimeter. For that, we know that 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter. 
that means 2 meter 15 centimeter will become as 2 into 100 centimeter plus 15 centimeter okay already this 15 is there in the centimeter only but this uh, 2 meter is there in meter so we will multiply 2 with 100 uh, then it will become 200 centimeter okay means 200 centimeter plus 15 centimeter will gives us that 215 centimeter means 2 meter 15 centimeter can be written as 215 centimeter and one more thing we got from the question as cloth is of 15 40 meter okay they have provided us cloth 40 meter the let's co convert this also into centimeter for that 40 into 100 meter centimeter we have to do it gives us 4000 centimeter means 40 meter can also be written as 4000 centimeter now what we have to find out how many shirts can be stitched and how much cloth will remain so for that we have to divide this 4000 by 215 uh, this calculation will give us the answer as 18.16 means 18 shirts can be stitched and 60 centimeter cloth will remain okay this is the final answer of this question now let's move to the 10th question here this is the 10th question medicine is packed in boxes each weighing 4 kg 500 gram how many such boxes can be loaded in a van which cannot carry beyond 800 kg? Okay. Uh, there are some boxes like this way. Um, and each box weighs 4 kg 500 gram. And uh, we have to find out how many boxes can be loaded in a van which can carry 800 kg. Okay. So let's write the information from the given question is one box of medicine weigh 4 kg 500 gram let's convert this into gram first for that we know that 1 kg is equal to 1000 gram so 4 kg 500 gram can be written as 4 into 1000 plus 500 which gives us 4000 plus 500 means 4500 gram means 4 kg 500 gram can be written as 4500 gram okay and um, uh, one more thing they have provided us that a van can carry 800 kg let's convert this 800 kg also into gram uh, which is uh, 800 kg is equal to 800 into 1000 means 8 lakh gram okay so 800 kg is equal to 8 lakh gram they have asked us find out how many boxes can be loaded for that what we have to do we have to divide this 8 lakh by 4500 which gives us the answer as 177.77 means approximately a van can carry 177 boxes of medicines okay now let's move to the next question the next question is the distance between the school and the student's house is 1 km 875 meter. Every day she walks both ways. Find the total distance covered by her in 6 days. Okay, let's assume that this is her school and uh, this is her house. And the distance between house to school is 1 km 875 she goes from house to school by walk and again she come back with the same distance as 1 kilometer 875 meter uh, and they have told us to find out find the total distance covered by her in six days so for that first we will find out the distance covered by her in one day uh, for that we have to add up this distance so the distance from school to student's house is 1 km 875 meter and the dis distance from student's house to school is 1 km 875 meter which is same. So let's add up. It gives us the answer as uh, the total distance covered by the students in one day is 3 km 750 meter. Okay. So to find out the total distance covered by her <coughs> in 6 days. First, we will convert this into meter. 
एज वी नो वन किलोमीटर इज इक्वल टू थाउजेंड मीटर सो थ्री किलोमीटर सेवन हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी मीटर विल गिव एज थ्री इंटू थाउजेंड प्लस सेवन हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी मीन थ्री थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी मीटर सो थ्री किलोमीटर सेवन हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी मीटर ऑल्सो कैन बी रिटर्न एज थ्री so uh, to find out the total distance uh, covered by her in 6 days we have to multiply this distance by 6 which gives us the answer as 22500 meter means the final answer of this question is total distance covered by students in 6 days is equal to 22500 meter can also be written as 22 kilometer 500 meter okay now let's see the next question here this is the next question a vessel has 4 liters and 500 ml of curd in how many glasses each of 25 ml capacity can it be filled okay so for that first we will gather the information given by the question is a, a vessel has curd of 4 liter 500 ml first we will convert this into milliliter for that we know that 1 liter is equal to 1000 milliliter so 4 liter 500 milliliter will become as 4 into 1000 plus 500 which gives us 4500 milliliter okay so 4 liter 500 milliliter can also be written as 4500 milliliter and one more information they have given us is each glass has capacity of 25 ml okay uh, to find out the glasses how many glasses we need we have to divide this 4500 by 25 which gives us the answer as 180 means we got the answer as 180 glasses we need which filled with 25 ml of curd okay so the final answer of this question is we need 180 glasses each filled with 25 ml of curd here your exercise 1.2 will end so we will end up today's video if you like my teaching then please like share and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching bye everyone